What's going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be going over an often overlooked strategy that many website owners fail to implement to help them grow their website. And this is especially useful if you're using AI to write content on your website. So we talk a lot about the content side of things when it comes to growing websites, the best content tools, the best methods, the best prompts and so on. And content is obviously very, very important. But the second thing in which I believe that we should be focusing on is actually improving the domain authority and the authoritativeness of our website in general in order to grow our websites. So that means we need to improve our domain rating or our URL rating, and this greatly increases the chances that we can actually rank AI content. Content is one big part of things, but I personally believe that content is becoming less and less important because content is so easy to create. So that means that if we want to stand out from our competitors, I really think it's important to focus on improving our domain ratings. And the way that we do so is by creating backlinks. And there's a couple of different ways in which we can go about creating backlinks. There's a passive way and then there's an active way in which we can create backlinks. The passive way is going to be by creating charts, graphs and good content and images and hope that people will link back to our content. So with this method, we're not actively going out and trying to get backlinks. We're hoping that the content in which we create will naturally attract backlinks. So a easy way in which you can use to create charts is by using ChatGPT's code interpreter. It's a really, really good and useful tool. Um, so essentially, let's say you're in the real estate niche. I can ask it to give me ideas or up-to-date charts in which I can create for the real estate niche in whatever city that I'm targeting. So if I wanted to create a chart for, let's say, the city of Toronto, I can ask ChatGPT to give me ideas on what types of charts would be good, like the amount of homes that were sold in the month of July or whatever that may be. And I can feed that information into ChatGPT. And then I can tell it to use the code interpreter to then create that image or create that chart for me. So for example, I've told it to create a chart using the code interpreter for houses sold in January 2023 in Toronto. And now it's asking me for um, information or input for data in which I can um, give to the AI. So this is where now you do your research, you'll paste in the data, and then it will go ahead and create that chart for you. So for example, this is what that type of data will look like in a chart. And you can simply go ahead and copy over this chart and paste it onto a blog post where you write about this topic. And that's an easy way for you to start getting some backlinks because this may be a unique chart that people do not really have readily available in your niche. And they will naturally link back to you because you've went ahead and taken the time out to create a chart. So that's a really good passive way in which you can follow to help you get um, some backlinks. So that relates to graphs and good content. We can go out and create really, really good in adept content using a lot of up-to-date data and because our content so good people will naturally link back to us and we can also go ahead and create images that are unique to our um, niche using ai image to text generators and then we can um, have those images and that's a great passive way for us to build backlinks but honestly if you're relying on passive ways it takes a lot longer for you to actually get backlinks for you to increase your domain authority it's much easier to build your domain authority much quicker when you actively go out and try to build backlinks so there's a couple of different ways in which you can build backlinks so we'll go over them some are easy and some are more difficult the first method is guest posting guest posting is simply when you go and you write a piece of content on a website the easiest way to approach this method is heading over to google and typing in websites websites that allow guest posting and you'll be able to find a lot of websites which allow you to free freely post on those sites i would recommend finding a website that's closely related to your niche um, you want to find something that's related and relevant to your niche, and then you want to reach out to them to see if you can write for them. Each website is going to have their own criteria, so you want to make sure you're going through those criteria to figure out what they need from you in terms of guest posting. But you can simply start by Googling websites within my specific niche, let's say websites in real estate niche that allow guest posting, and you can find those websites or you can find general websites. And as you can see here, there's a lot of different websites. For example, real estate blogs, I can find some websites here. Boom. I can then go over to see what their requirements are and I can get in contact with them to help um, try to write an article for them. So that's an easy way for you to start getting backlinks is simply reaching out to websites that allow you to write for them, find those websites and then write articles and blog posts for them and naturally link back to your website. The second method in which you can use to get backlinks is creating list style reviews. So I can create a list style review of, let's say, the top 10 companies within my specific niche or the top 10 products within my niche. I can reach out to those products and companies and then I can ask them 
and then I can ask them to link back to this post where we mentioned their company or their product. That's an easy way for you to get some um, backlinks. You can do it for local companies. You can do it for smaller companies because maybe it'll be easier for you to get in contact with a small company compared to a much bigger company. The next way in which you can get backlinks is by simply buying backlinks. I don't have a really good source that I want to promote right now in terms of buying backlinks. I would recommend trying to find someone that's trustworthy where you know you would make sure that you're getting a high quality backlink because there's no point in going on Fiverr and buying thousands of backlinks, especially if they're low quality backlinks, those will not help your rankings. Next way in which you can get some backlinks is through Backlink Exchange. What you can do is you can go up to a website that has a similar um, DR as you and you can tell it, hey, I will give you a backlink. I will mention your company or your website if you mention mine within a blog post. Next way is by link insertion. So you can actually use tools like Ahrefs to find broken links within websites. You can find out which links are broken on web pages and you can reach out to those websites and tell it to include your link um, for that specific um, broken link because it's relevant and sometimes that may work to help you get some more backlinks. The last active way in which you can use to get backlinks is using Haro, which is helping a reporter out. This is where you can get in contact with journalists and you can enter unique information or give them unique information about whatever topic they're researching or writing about, and then they will link back to your website. So let's say if I'm really, really into real estate and they need some information around real estate for a specific demographic, I can provide that information and then they will give me a link back uh, for that specific journal or that specific news article in which they're creating. So Haro will connect journalists to website owners, which again allows you to then be able to um, get some backlinks on high authoritative websites, which will really, really move the needle for you. So those are a couple of active and passive ways in which you can use to get backlinks. But I really recommend that you focus on backlinks, especially if you are a AI um, driven website in terms of writing your content. Again, as I mentioned earlier in this video, I do believe that content is becoming less and less of a ranking factor. Your domain rating, the quality of your content, if you are active on other social media platforms, if people are searching up your websites directly, how long people are staying on your websites, I believe that those are going to be more important ranking factors because simply writing blog posts, um, tons of blog posts on your website used to work before, but it's not much harder to grow a website solely using that method. You need to think of your website as a real business and make it seem like a real business in the eyes of Google. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you learned something new. If you haven't checked out my free AI writing tool, it is called Word Rocket. You can try it for completely free using your own API key. It is really, really good and really quick at generating high quality in-depth articles and blog posts. So if you want to try it out, I will leave a link for Word Rocket in the description below today's video. If you want to learn more about how to write and rank AI content, check out my school community. It is only $10 per month. And as you can see here, once you join, you have full access to my AI writing mastery. I just uploaded a new uh, tutorial, but there's a lot of different tutorials here on writing different types of content um, using different types of AI writers. So again, if you want to check out any of those uh, products, Word Rocket or my school community, it will be in the description below today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.